We're going to be using fraction benchmark numbers to assess reasonableness of addition and subtraction equations. The focus with this lesson is on mental math using reasoning without actually solving using a paper and pencil. I have 1 half plus 3 fourths. What do you think about 1 half and 3 fourths? Half to be 50% of something, or even 50 cents of a dollar? Some of you might be saying, hey, I know 1 half is equal to 5 tenths, or 0.5 as a decimal. 3 quarters is more or less than a half. Yes, it's more than half of a whole. So if we have a half plus more than half of a whole, our sum is going to be bigger than 1. If I did add them together, I would get 1 and 1 fourth as my sum. Here I have 1 and 2 fifths minus 2 thirds. What do you know about the value of this expression? I see, of course, that it's a subtraction problem. I know that 2 fifths is less than 1 half, and 2 thirds is more than 1 half. So therefore, 2 thirds can't be subtracted from 2 fifths because 2 thirds is larger. So we'll need to subtract from the 1 whole. Anything else that you see with this? So if we go 1 minus 2 thirds and then add in the 2 fifths, we would have 1 third plus 2 fifths. I can go to fifteenths. So 5 fifteenths and 6 fifteenths, which is 11 fifteenths. The answer is less than 1. What do I know about these numbers in this sum? Is it more than 1 or less than 1? Is 4 tenths more or less than half? Right, it's less than a half. Is 1 third more or less than a half? Right, it too is less than a half. Is 4 tenths closer to 0 or 1 whole? It's closer to 0 than it is to 1 whole. If we were to add these two together, I could show work. Let's see if we can show some work here. 4 times 3, 10 times 3, plus 1 times, one times 10, 3 times 10, 4 times 3 is 12, 1 times 10 is 10, and they're both 30th. Equals 22 30ths. And I can reduce that. 11 15ths is my answer. So my sum was less than 1. Here's another one to think about. First off, because it's a plus, this is an addition problem. I know that 4 tenths is less than a half. I also notice that 2 ninths is less than a half. Both fractions are closer to 0 than they are to 1. Would my answer be less than or greater than a half? I believe it is greater than a half. Let's do some work to show what we're going to do with this problem. Thirty-six ninetieths plus twenty ninetieths equals fifty-six ninetieths, and then I have to simplify still. Let's start with dividing by two. That's twenty-eight forty-fifths. I believe that answer is in simplest form. What do you notice here? Right, it's a subtraction problem. 
Here I'm subtracting 9 tenths from 1 and 4 sevenths. 4 sevenths is closer to the half than 9 tenths is. Therefore, I'm going to have to subtract the 9 tenths from the 1. I would need to know 1 minus 9 tenths, which equals 1 tenth, and then add it back in with 4 sevenths. Let's work that out. That's 7 seventieths plus 40 seventieths, which equals 47 seventieths. My answer there is close to a half. What do you see here? Would the value of my expression be more or less than a half? Four-fifths is more than one-half. Four-fifths is closer to one than it is to zero. What's half of five-fifths? Right, two and a half. Is one-eighth more than one-half or less than one-half? Right, less than one-half. Is one-eighth closer to zero or closer to one whole? Right, it's closer to zero. I believe my answer will be greater than a half. Let's work it out. Thirty-two fortieths minus five fortieths, which equals twenty-seven fortieths. Yes, my answer is bigger than a half. Here I have an inequality. I know that 2 plus 3 already is 5, and then 1 third plus 1 fifth is not even going to be close to 7 eighths. So I already know that the sign in between these two is less than. Let me show that work. 2 plus 3 is 5. That's plus 1 third plus 1 fifth compared to 6 and 7 eighths. 1 times 5, 3 times 5, plus 1 times 3, 5 times 3, and then add 5 to that. So that's 5 and 5 fifteenths, 3 fifteenths, that's 5 and 8 fifteenths, and 5 and 8 fifteenths is less than 6 and 7 eighths.